Hi guys, this is Mark Wachholz again speaking to you from Berlin. Today I want to show you some books which may help you to dive a little bit deeper into storytelling. The first one is Illuminating Shadows by Geoffrey Hill. This book is a little bit older, it's about 25 years or so. But so is The Hero's Journey by Christopher Vogler. This is also about the mythic power of film, as uh, you can see here. And it's a great addition to uh, the common Hero's Journey books you will find. It doesn't delve so much on the paradigm ground like Vogler and Campbell, um, but helps you to get a better impression what is mythic storytelling at all. To be honest, the common books about the hero's journey will more tell you uh, how to tell, but not so much give you a feeling about mythical storytelling. Um, to, to tell your stories in symbols and metaphors in an allegorical way. The books like these will help you a little bit more to understand how myths are told in the first place. Okay, you can always read uh, actual really myth so maybe you should do that but if you don't want to and you're not shy of uh, uh, have, having some examples from maybe the 80s or the early 90s then you may check out this book. The next two books will help you to uh, dig very deep into why we tell stories. Okay, the first one is more of an overview and it's called The Storytelling Animal by Jonathan Gotcha. If you want to understand uh, why we tell stories, or why we can turn away from stories, why um, people are drawn to stories, then this book will give you some first ideas um, why we uh, tell stories and obviously the storytelling animal is we, the humans, is us. Mm. So we are born to tell stories and born to appreciate stories. If you're interested in why we tell stories and how they affect us, how um, we need them to live, then check this one out. But this is just an overview uh, for those of you who want uh, to get some quick ideas and information about uh, the subject. The more scientific book on this matter is On the Origins of Stories by Brian Boyd. And it's not by chance that its title reflects the Darwin book On the Origin of Man, because this book takes a very evolutionary road to explain why we tell stories. It goes very, very deep to, of course, the origins of stories. For me, this is an eye-opener. Of all the paradigms we know about storytelling, like Sid Field or Hero's Journey or what else may come, they don't help you to explore your own patterns, your own paradigms of storytelling. My recommendation for you is to learn more about why we tell stories. If you have an idea why people are drawn to stories, then you can form your own stories into your own paradigms, your own uh, words, your own uh, uh, patterns of meaning. And then those stories may become individual, uh, not only by content, but in form too. And maybe you develop a known kind of the stories uh, you want to tell. So guys, check this out if you don't shy away um, from complex scientific thinking about storytelling. The last one you can find on the internet. You uh, can buy it as a book, but it's also free for download. And this is the Dramatical Theory of Story. I will show it here to you. This theory uh, was developed in the early 90s and made quite an impact on Hollywood, so they say. It's kind of the holy grail of uh, story paradigms because it wants, to, uh, it wants to, to unify all story theories and wants to unify all major elements of storytelling like character, like theme, like genre uh, and so on. Basically, the dramatical theory of story um, says that um, our stories are constructed like the problem-solving process of the human mind. And that's why we can't turn away from stories. Because stories cannot be 
in another way than how we are thinking. The dramatical theory of story is very, very complex and maybe you will be very, very frustrated uh, in the first minutes or hours uh, <laughs> when you read it. But give it a try. Even if you just read uh, some first pages, and uh, you will get some very good ideas about storytelling. There's a computer program which helps you to develop stories with the Dramatica theory. But I would say first you look into the theory itself. And if you're, if you're not shattered by the complexity of this theory, then you may go on. I know, guys, these were very heavy books I recommended to you. And who knows, maybe they will help you on your stories or uh, on your thinking about stories. So bye-bye from Berlin, says Mark, and all the best for you and your stories.